Sunlu have made filament connector FC01. They sent one to me to try it out. So, what that is filament connector? It's a device that helps you to connect two pieces of filaments together. They are also called filament joiners or filament welders. So, let's start with unboxing. Inside the box, we can find the filament connector, one pack of Teflon tubes and power cable. There are no power adapter included, so you need to have 5 volt adapter with 2 amps. Instruction manual is also included. The design looks nice. There is green Sunlu logo on the lead. Around the screen is silver trim. There are no buttons on the device because it has touch screen. The screen is a little bit dirty, I can see some fingerprints, I think they test their products, which is great, but they should clean them or use gloves. There is some info on the button, like um, what adapter you need, let you see through, on the back side is power socket. Silver button release the second lead, which covers the heating element. The overall look is great, but does it work? Before you start testing, I will clean it up a bit. After you have plugged it in, power button appears on the corner of the screen. First I will try new roll of Sunlu PLA filament. It's recommended to cut filament ends at an angle. Then the contact area is larger. When you turn it on, it will start heating. On the top of the screen is shown filament type and under that you can see current temperature. Next to it is target temperature. Right arrow button on the right side is for choosing between filament types or temperature. Two buttons on the left side is for choosing filament types or if you are in temp mode you can increase or decrease temperature. Before you can fuse filaments together you need to slide two ends inside the Teflon tube. When target temp is reached, you can put it inside the connector. The lead didn't want to stay open. It stayed open before. When I tried it later, it stayed open again. Don't know what's with that. Close the lead and push filament in a little bit. Then you wait until it starts beeping. Open the lead and let it cool about 10 to 20 seconds. To get off the Teflon tube, there is cutter built in. Place the filament in the cutter slot and close the lead. Lead will push the tube against the blade. and the filament is fused together. It works quite good, but you need some practicing before you get it right. The overall process is easy. The tricky part is when you need to push in the filament. You need to push it right amount. If you don't push it enough, pieces will break apart. If too much, the joints will, too th will be too thick. It will stuck in your printer. Also, if you add too much tension on the filament ends, they can tear apart when you open the heater. You can hold the buttons with your hands, but you need to push the button to open it. If you have three hands, then it's not a problem. It would be nice to have automatic release for the heater lead when it beeps. But why do you need or want to connect filaments? When you print a lot, you will end up with many spool ends which have not enough filament to start new prints. So you can connect them pieces and use them. You got less filament waste also. Or if you want two colorful prints, you can cut different color pieces and connect them. I had some spool ends which I connected together. And I used it to print this cool Deadpool model. The first joint stuck, but I managed to unstuck it. All other joints didn't have any problems. The first one was a little bit too thick. So, let's take this review together. Sunlu Filament Connector FC01 has nice design and it works great if you practice some time. 
it comes with about 200 Teflon tubes, which is quite much, but when you run out, you need to buy them. I did waste quite much tubes. Teflon tube cutter blade is changeable, that's good. I first thought the small touchscreen buttons may be a problem, but they actually work great. The price is quite cheap, it's around uh, 32 euros or 35 US dollars. You can find cheaper filament connectors, but they don't have heater heating elements, so you need to use something to heat the uh, filament. Others are much more expensive. Long story short, you can get good product with good price. If you have any questions, you can comment below and I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching.